So fucking what? You're gonna love this. Eat it up, even. You want the twins, right? You wanna get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's a whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? Or why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. And then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. What do you know? Orange is your color. Hop in the back. Let's go. So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Well, the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen bigwigs. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly, the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's tight with a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. I'll let you work out the details. And ask you the food you can fucking Hey, it's Lil Fucker. Imagine that, Lil Fucker in his garbage truck. Hope you got something good for truck bed there, Lil Fucker. Hope it's worth our fucking while. The hell you want, Lil Fucker? Hey, nice to see you too. Jeez. I got a prisoner with me. What do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds if they're a problem. Bring him in. Don't balls it up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die. <laughs> Fingers are bleeding. 
since yesterday. Anything as big and bad as Maybe if I pretend to be dead, they'll dump my body outside and I can escape. Finally got my car running again. And then I got caught just driving down the road. I took my car. I've been rotting in here ever since. Yes, this gets me moved. Just a few more days. A few more days and... I'll try breaking out of here again. I know how to get out of here. I know which one has the key back inside. They took my shiv to the restricted zone. I could try and get it, take him out. If my goddamn legs would stop shaking, if I had the guts. I'm so sore. Hope they don't figure out I'm not strong enough to keep this up. Thank you. 
fucking with me. Let's go. 
you Holy shit, Slick! You're like a ghost in the night up here! I knew you were the one for the job! Just popped in there like a fart on the breeze and got everything we need. Now it remains to be fucking seen if you can drive that damn. Slick, you got it done. I cannot overstate how much I wanted Frank to die. Thank you. Can't believe that idiot thought he could drive in the Derby. I could drive in the Derby. I could run the Derby. I know more about cars than any of them. I once built a car out of nothing but a kitchen sink. That spot in the Derby is yours now. And that's gonna get you up close and personal with Mickey and Lou. All I gotta do is finagle you a halfway decent set of wheels, and you're good to go. Look, we don't want to be seen hanging around together, so you gotta move on out of here. Now, don't worry. I'll be in touch real soon.